about this and you never fucking will. Just hate us and live with it. There's um, people with mohawks. Mohawks come up to about here. The really serious ones put glue in them to keep them up all the time. There's people with pierced noses, people with tattoos on their scalp. Yeah, everyone's expressing themselves or doing what they think looks good. So have people there wearing like their grandfather's army uniform, people there wearing their mom's old wedding dress, people dressed like Madonna. Because the fact that I have a funny colored mohawk, it's, you know, automatically said, hey, she's a punk rocker. And, you know, I don't like to label myself that way. I prefer to call myself a human being. Where I'm from, they, they, some people are, like, totally aghast. I mean, they freak out and drop their jaws to the floor. I mean, and other people, other people are like, they're, they, they, they talk to me, they ask me, you know, what you're about and stuff. A lot of people are afraid to walk next to me. But as soon as they meet me, you know, they say, wow, this kid smiles, he's real nice and everything. And then they start thinking, well, they ain't that bad. They accept me better than my parents do. You know, it's like, I go downtown and the bums that hang out in the parks and everything, I get along with them better than your normal average class American. First thing I've ever happened is I had a redneck throw a cheeseburger at me, and I had a headbanger throw a beer at me. <laughs> They freak out, and my grandparents hate my guts. Some people like it because they think that we're, we're different. They like the, the attractiveness of that we're different. They, they like the people that are weird. It all depends on the person. You know, some people react in a positive manner and ask me, you know, where you get your hair done. All the Other people are like, what the fuck is this shit? I got beat up at a gas station because my hair is like this. They, they Six don't. guys on one. When you wear all the skulls and everything, they like look at you like we're some kind of like we're Satanist and all that. But this is not true. Almost all of us don't believe in Satan. We're all we all want to go to heaven. I got kicked out. My mom out. hates it and I love it. My dad's a fucking asshole. My grandparents, my grandparents said they were gonna beat my ass, man. I, you know, I took my out dad, a bat. And my they, dad, my dad, my dad likes it. My dad shaves my head. They freaked out completely. They were like, you know, what the hell are you doing? They try, you know, they're like, you need treatment. You need, you need all this stuff. The reason of the way I look is the reason I got a place to live now. Because the psychologist that I'm living with <laughs> decided I needed help. I really don't want his help. I just need a place to live. an illusion of doing something about the things that bother them. Now that something may be nothing more than dressing up funny and going to a, um, a dank and nasty little hall someplace to listen to some band that they can't, they never heard before and don't care about, um, scream things that they can't understand. But it gives them something to do. Do you live with your parents? Yeah. How do they feel about you being in the same? I'm just a normal American boy to them. My parents support me. Same with me. My mom loves it. They don't like it too much. My mom likes it. My dad don't. My dad had hair like this when he was... Every summer he used to have his hair shaved. So, you know, he, he really doesn't care. They hate me. She doesn't care. They didn't like it at first. They're used to it now. They don't hassle them anymore, but almost everybody's parents have hassled them in the beginning. In the beginning, it was something that was so strange and different that society considered everybody an outcast that was into it. Oh, my mom and me get drunk together and stuff. I don't know what happened, but I think it was just the fact that so many other people started doing it and started being like that. I got to look at them, and you know, I looked at them and I saw how I was acting. I thought they were pretty fucking ridiculous. And I was kind of embarrassed, you know, that I acted like that. So I started letting my hair grow because I like having long hair. And you know, I wear what I want, but I'm not going out of my way anymore to like wear a t-shirt with a giant green dick on it that says, fuck you, you know. Just because I don't, I don't need that attention anymore. About two days ago, I went to public assistance of Hillsborough County. 
and they turned me down for $190 worth of rent that I would have paid back. And in the last two weeks, they spent $260 billion on conventional nuclear weapons on the face of this earth. And that same amount of money could put food, clothing, medicine, and education on every man, woman, and child on the face of this earth for an entire year. And I want to know fucking why. You work? I did. I don't work at present. No. I just don't feel like it right now. I'm going to start this summer, probably. I don't do nothing. I got a job. Where? And um, I'm a waitress. I don't, I don't work at the present time. And my job? What job? Hey, I hope y'all planning on getting a job real soon. Because you ain't going to be able to pay rent otherwise. Are you going to get a job? No! Well, what's the deal, man? Why not? This works so there, there never used to be any bullshit like this. We're definitely one of the one of the earliest punk hardcore bands in this whole scene. We've been around four years this December, as far as our first show, and and there never used to be any violence. There never used to be any any violence at shows. We played at Lonesome Coyote for a year and a half. There wasn't one fight. 